Greetings, this is Eduardo Jumbo. In this tutorial, Python assignment operators will be used to assign values to variables. This is brought to you from the jumboshop.com learning Python course and learning PHP course. So we'll get started here by once you're on the jumboshop.com, you go to my account, you log in, and then you simply pick paid content or you go here and you pick paid content then you pick the course python course we left off last time in chapter three uh of rhythmic operators now we're going to go to the assignment operators so it remembers the way you left off last time so for the assignment operators as you can see here there's scalar types so it's all math so we're going to also use the as you can see this on jumboshop.com the learning python course there is obviously the uh, uh, full example here of a table and i put it here in the sample code and then you can use the id we'll be using the id e again so as the jumboshop.com python course web id will be used for this tutorial so let's begin good thing about using the IDE is that you don't need to worry about installing Python or having a text editor on IDE you can simply just type it in here and you can output by clicking on the compile button and if you make a mistake see okay compile there's a mistake here you can simply clear and everything goes over there and you can start over again so the first one will be num1 equal 5 num 2 equals 3 the first assignment operator we're going to use is the equal sign uh, so it's simply you can make a new variable short for equals and you just say equals num1 oh, uh, equals num2 Or I can also type in something like num1 equals num2. Essentially, this will just make the new variable the same as the old variable. So if I print this, See down here it says 3 because the new variable has become whatever value of num2. Next we're going to do addition. So I'll remove this. Addition, for example, I can type this num1 equals num1 plus num2. What this means is it's going to take whatever the value of num1 which is 5 and then it's going to add it to whatever num2 is so the answer for this should be 8 so a short way of writing this is uh, I'll just comment this out so the short way of writing this is simply to say to make another variable I can use the same variable but if I can say if I say num1 plus equals oops, plus equals num2 this is the exact same thing it basically whatever the content of num1 uh, plus num2 now I, I prefer using a variable a new variable so what I can do is I can say num add equals num1 plus equals num2 or I don't even need to do that I can simply just print I should be able to print and let's see what happens here okay it doesn't like that so we need to we need to put that in a variable and have an example right up here so we use this this is the one we wrote it out. So we'll just say number one 
plus equals num2. And then we simply just print num1. So the answer for this should be 8. And you see it's 8 here. Next, we're going to do subtraction. So once again, I can say num1 equals num1 minus num2. And this will take num1 here, which is 5, minus 3, which will be 2. Now, the short way of writing this is simply, I can simply say num1 minus equals num2. That's the assignment. And then I'll print it out. Compile. And you see the answer we get is 2 here. So I'm going to I'm going to clear this. One equals 5. One, 2 equals 3. Next we're going to do uh, multiplication. So again, you can say num1 equals num1 times num2. However, we can also write this simply as num1 times num equals num2. And we print this. See, it will be 15. It will be 5 times 15 takes 5. Whatever the value of 1. Uh, num1 times is 15. Okay. Then we can also do the same thing with division. We can just say num1 equals num1 divided by num2 or just simply write it as num1 divided equals num2 and then we print no more. So we should get one because that's uh, that's what we should get. So we'll compile this and we get 1.66. Then of course we can do the, to get the the, uh, the remainder. We use modulus. Uh, so modulus is simply that's the symbol we use. Come here. And change that as well. So if we compile this now. We get two because uh, when you divide five to three, you get one, and the remainder is two. So that's the two here. You can also do uh, exponential. So that is the symbol for that one is. If it's two, what's the symbol for exponential? Yeah, it's two as um, so we take that one two one two and so one twenty five meaning five to the power of three it's one twenty five. Then you can also do floor or uh, yeah floor. Bones, two slashes flow division it's one <coughs> so flow division just means what the uh, when you divide what's what's the whole number you don't we don't care about the remainder remember remainder use modulus finally we can also do uh, the bitwise and I'm only going to do the AND, as you can see here, just use the uh, ampersand for bitwise. So in that case, we just use uh, ampersand. Hmm, do that one. And equals. This does work, I did test it out, I don't know why it's uh, saying there's a problem here. Oh, with the bitwise you need to, I think you need to give it a different number. 
let's see now. Yeah, so that's bitwise. And of course, the last one is the. Uh, this is the a sign with an expression. So let me fix this one first. Okay, and then we'll do the expression here. This is a different type of assignment. So you get five. So if you want to learn Python, uh, simply jumboshop.com slash learning hyphen Python. If you prefer to get an ebook, you can go to Amazon uh, and you can get the Learning Python. I'll provide the link, I'll show you where you can get this full link or if you want to copy it there. There's also a Learning PHP course. Remember, for both Learning Python and Learning PHP, you can get 20% uh, off by using promo code SCHOOL, S C H O O L, till the end of 2024. If you also prefer to get this in an ebook form, you can get it on Amazon for your favorite reader. And it's also, that's here, I'll provide the URL for this. Uh, that is easily found on the Learning Python uh, or jumboshop.com. All of that's for the courses. And if you want the full article for this tutorial, I have it at jumbo.com uh, jumbo and I'll provide the URL in the description. It's Python hyphen assignment hyphen operators. So you can see this is the sample we did today. We also have how uh, you can expand to see the source code. There's some uh, screenshots. There's a video watching right now and the links to both the courses and the ebooks. And here is the references as well. If you want to just click here, it will take you there. And if you want something more, you can simply go to jumboservices.com. If you need a website or if you have your website was hacked or your website is running PHP, Python, Java, JavaScript, Java 5, doesn't matter, it can help you with that. If you need migration, PCI compliance, e commerce, doesn't matter. If you're using a platform, Shopify, WordPress, Zencard, Drupal, Joomla, I can help you all that. If you want a new application, cross-platform, Linux, Android, Windows, Apple, iPhone, can help you with anything. Everything is all done in-house. As you have seen some tutorials, we use Python to build applications. We can use Rust, we can use HTML5, we can use C, C++, you can do it all. And if you want to learn, just one-on-one -on -one tutorials, custom made for you. Doesn't matter if you're a beginner, student, um, office worker. Help you out. Not just office suites, uh, databases, programming, any language. Let's say it again: Rust, Ruby, PHP, JavaScript. We can help you with all of that. All you if you're in North America, you call this number. If you're in a direct dial, that's the number you call. Or if you prefer to email or just use a contact form you just fill up your information here contact reason the budget time frame and we'll get back to you within a day or so thank you